All right, hey everyone. I wanted to make a quick video today because I was putting up an ad um, on Facebook using the Power Editor. And as you may or may not know, I do have a pet products brand um, that I sell on Amazon and um, my websites. And um, I was creating an ad to get uh, email subscribers, uh, basically to sell them the product. Um, and get reviews on Amazon, that type of thing. And I was going through the um, editor, the power editor, and I was setting up my ad. And um, I'm actually going to do two ads. I have three different images and one video, and I'm testing those against each other. But the one thing that I wanted to say quickly is um, when I'm editing my audience in power editor, um, I was going down here, I put people who live in this location in the United States, age 25 to 64, women who speak English. And then I was going down to the detailed targeting, and this is where you put in your interests, behaviors, that type of thing. And I was just going to do a broad interest because I don't really have my um, specifics uh, about my demographics for this uh, product yet. Um, I do know it's women, and I do know. Um, the age group um, kind of but I didn't really do a lot of testing so I did a wide range of um, ages for women anyway um, in the interest section I put uh, behaviors purchase behavior I put dog owners and dog products and then um, for an interest um, on Facebook meaning um, just some a page that they like um, is hold on I'm getting a phone call um, an interest they like is um, I love dogs and then I saw this down here this um, exclude people or narrow further I I've never seen this before in the power editor um, I've never seen it before on the uh, regular um, what would you say the basic I guess the basic um, ad creation tool on Facebook so I think it's only in the power editor and I've been using the power editor um, exclusively um, for all my ads pretty much because it's so much quicker and I can um, do things faster and you know duplicate uh, campaigns quick um, so it says as exclude people or narrow further so I've never seen this before so what this means is you can include people who say people who like the page I love dogs okay and then you can say and must also um, like Kong dog toys so you're getting super super specific with your advertising now and I don't know how long this has been going on maybe I just missed it um, which kinda sucks because I could have um, a lot better um, targeting as far as on Facebook so if you look at this I love dogs there's 5.5 million people for that interest I love dogs and then the Kong dog toy there's over 5 million interests for that but if you put in I love dogs and um, they must like the Kong dog toy the interest the potential reach is 40,000 people that is really good that's really good news for everybody who is trying to uh, get conversions through Facebook because of this detailed targeting. So make sure you take advantage of the narrow further option um, in the power editor. Um, it's it's going to be really cool. I might make another video and um, upload it to uh, YouTube and Facebook with um, my results from this uh, this test. I think I'm going to be running um, three different ads two images in one video or maybe it's three images in one video I forget what I made today the images that I made but with a potential reach of 40,000 people I would think it's pretty pretty specific um, the one thing I could do quickly is put in more um, more interest in the also much mat match at least one of these so I could put I love dogs, you know, dog owners, dog products, and then they must also like Kong dog toys. And then I was bringing up uh, brands of products, so let's do Purina in there too, and see what happens. Purina one, P 
Purina. I'm guessing Purina won. Yeah, that's correct. Let's look at the... Now the potential reach goes up to 460,000 people. Um, that's one other thing that I could test to is I could take out um, one of the Purina 1 or the Kong Dog toy and test that against each other and see which one works better. It's all about testing, especially in the beginning when you don't know your audience and you don't know exactly um, who you're trying to target. You know a general you know, age group or if it's women or um, males or females or whatever, but with Facebook, you want to test all these different things. So all these different um, uh, areas of interest. Let's go. Let's try. I'm going to try and narrow it down further. So what I'm going to do is it's this audience, basically, the dog owners, dog products, and I love dogs. And then they have to match at least the Kong dog toy or Purina one. And let's do another brand. Let's do, we can do pedigree. Oh, let's do pedigree. I just want to see what the audience reach would look like. Pedigree. Pedigree pet foods. Or just pedigree. I'm guessing pedigree. Let's go to pedigree pet foods. I'm guessing it'd be a small audience. Yeah, so 11,000 people. So I might actually leave it like this because I only need, I'm looking for about 50 um, email subscribers to um, send some coupon codes to. Um, and I'm doing, this campaign is actually doing a, a lead, it's a lead generation ad. So it's one of those ads on mobile devices that, um, has a subscribe button and whenever they tap the subscribe button on their phones um, it automatically generates a form and it says would you like to sign up and then they just have to click sign up and they will be taken to my landing page that says you know thank you for or my thank you page that says uh, thanks for signing up your coupon code or whatever you're giving away is um, will be ready so check your email that kind of thing so I'm gonna see I like this 11,000 people though that's I think it's very very specific and um, I'll see how it goes so I'll try this and hopefully in a couple days I'll create another video and um, see what the results are um, I would like to see a 25 cent per um, per lead or per subscriber cost um, so I think I'm gonna be running about thirty dollars so we'll see um, I just wanted to make a quick video and, and make sure you guys know about the narrow further option um, it's definitely something you should take advantage of it's a it's a great way to really narrow your audience and get really really specific which will in turn create higher click-through rates lower costs per click and lower costs per lead or per sale so um, that's it for today I just saw that and wanted to make this quick video so we'll see you guys later oh one more thing make sure you guys subscribe to my YouTube channel if you're watching this on YouTube or make sure you share it on Facebook with um, someone that you think would um, really like this video because I think this is going to be uh, pretty big, um, this narrow further option. So make sure to subscribe, share it, like it. Thanks, guys. We'll see you later.